In this episode, we're going to talk about uh, a service called Trico Test that's now available and what the implications of that are. So stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. All right, welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. My name is Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. So one of the developments that's happened over the last sort of 12, uh, 18 months is a development of a genetic screening tool or a genetic test called TrichoTest. Uh, and what that is doing is n not necessarily looking at uh, androgenic alopecia, but looking at the individual's response to medication. So if we take a step back and uh, look at how we manage patients and how either Dr. Knudsen or myself would manage patients in clinic. A uh, patient would come in, they would get assessed by us and we'd make a diagnosis and let's say we're comfortable with the the diagnosis of male pattern hair loss or androgenic alopecia. At that point we would we'd look at the uh, the relevance and, uh, of, of different medical therapies and suggest one. And in essence, what we're trying to do is we're, we're literally taking a punt. We're saying, okay, um, you've got male pattern hair loss, you should try, let's just say, minoxidil. So try minoxidil and see how effective that is. And we'd wait a period of time and then reassess the patient and see how effective uh, that medication uh, was at stabilizing that individual. And now let's just say they come back for review and, and medication is not, this patient's still losing hair, the medication is not really stabilizing. And the option is to either increase the dose of that medication or try a different agent altogether. So maybe look at changing it to finasteride or, or adding finasteride or change, uh, starting on dutasteride as an example. All right. And again, we'd go through that same process. We'd uh, start them on the medication and, and then review uh, uh, that patient in a period of time and then assess how things have progressed. But there's no way or there hasn't been a way to look at an individual and go, right, this is the medication that you should be on. We, we're taking population studies and saying and and determining from that, okay, well, this medication works in so many, uh, so, so many percentage of the people, therefore, we should try that on you. But there's been some new developments in the field where you can do genetic testing to see how effective medication is in that individual. And there's a service called TrichoTest. Uh, they've got labs in the US and, and, and in Europe as well. And what they do is they, you, do a, uh, you come in and you get a, a cheek swab done. That sample has to be sent pretty quickly to the lab where it gets processed. Uh, the turnaround time is, is generally a couple of weeks and they give you a report saying, well, this patient will be quite sensitive or the medication that we would suggest is X and Y because from a genetic perspective, they have a higher response to uh, this medication and therefore you can it, it's becoming the probably the wave of the future which is that you can tailor make your medical therapy based on your uh, genetics so it's not available everywhere uh, it's something that uh, you know is available in certain countries you can contact your uh, prescribing physician see if it's available and and, and then certainly have a have a test and that may help decide which medical therapy you may decide to, to go on. So it's, it's called uh, Trico Test uh, and it's now available. So, and please uh, do uh, speak to your doctor if you want to have a further chat about that. But hopefully that sort of clears that up for you. Thanks again for watching and we'll uh, see you on the next episode. Take care.